Bulls Nation, today we're going to be talking about a few news pieces that I've missed over the course of some weeks, and of course some recent ones that have just popped up. And again, this is interesting news for the Chicago Bulls. We're slowly seeing already, as soon as our season has ended, we are already seeing some pieces of news come together about free agency, obviously about contracts, and again about some certain players that are willing to change their contract and what their status is with the Chicago Bulls. So without further ado, let's talk about some of the news that I've made missed as well as some of the news that has just recently popped up for the Chicago Bulls in this video. Let's do it. What's going on everybody, it's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video today. We've got a Chicago Bulls news update video, first time in a long time that the Chicago Bulls have experienced some solid news uh, throughout the tidy of the off season. Again, our season recently came to an end a few days ago and already we are starting to kick off with some Chicago Bulls news that is very interesting and we're seeing some players potentially come back for the Chicago Bulls. Some player extensions, obviously some contract situations amongst us, the Chicago Bulls, who is interested in who. And before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the Chicago Bulls news overall. What are your thoughts about some of these players that I'll be talking about today? And most importantly, I do have to say, please keep in mind some of these news pieces I have missed and they are pretty old. I want to say old, but at least uh, two weeks or so old. Um, because the regular season was still taking place. That was my focus. That was where I wanted to put all my attention on. And in the end, now that that's done, we can focus on the news. We can focus about rumors. We can focus about everything else in between. And we're going to have a good time doing it. So, first things first, to talk about some of the news that I've missed, the Chicago Bulls. Now, I'm not sure where these articles are. And please keep in mind that not all of these will be true. Um, the Chicago Bulls are interested in two guards, and those two guards are Lonzo Ball and Dennis Schroeder. Now, this is very interesting. Of course, the guard position is exactly what we need. We need some defensive guard play. We need some guards that are, that is able to kind of take the reins and maybe... I guess, have a certain style of play, defensive-minded, playmaking-minded. And that's the type of guard that we should be looking for. So, first things first, Lonzo Ball. Um, once again, there's not too much more I can say about Lonzo Ball than I haven't already said over the course of months. I think Lonzo Ball would be a perfect addition to this team. I think he will be a very solid playmaker. I think he's defensive-minded. He's one of the better defensive guards in the NBA. And I think he'll do a good job for the Chicago Bulls if we're interested in him. Now... Lonzo Ball is actually going to be a restricted free agent, and everybody knows this if you're a Chicago Bulls fan. The Chicago Bulls have expressed their interest from at least six months ago, and probably even beyond that. So it's safe to say, this is probably the most truest rumor you'll ever hear. The Chicago Bulls are interested in Lonzo Ball. However, is that interest going to turn into something positive? Are we going to pursue Lonzo Ball in free agency? Well, according to Artorias, he plans to be aggressive. He wants to be aggressive in the free agency market, in the trade market, and in the draft. He wants to find ways to improve this team, and he won't stop until he does, which is great news to see. So if Lonzo Ball is the target, then I think Lonzo Ball is someone that we have to 100% pursue, and we have to pursue aggressively. And in the end, we could be the winners in this deal. I feel very positive about the situation about Lonzo Ball. I think it's a very high opportunity that he can come to Chicago but again it's it, it's it's still a situation where the Pelicans can change their minds in an instinct and match any offer that we provide so we're gonna have to be very careful going into this situation as do we have to be careful with players like Larry Markkinen that is a restricted free agent now Pelicans are gonna potentially change their mind and maybe keep Lonzo Ball maybe Lonzo Ball wants to be with New Orleans who really knows but in terms of this situation, we are interested. What is that interest going to look like down the line? Is he going to end up being a Chicago Bulls player? Are we going to go after him aggressively and get the player that we want? Or are we going to end up watching another team take over and we watch and let it happen? That's the situation that we're in at the moment because I 100% believe we're in for Lonzo Ball and we want Lonzo Ball. It's all about whether or not we can get him. In terms of Dennis Schroeder, this it makes a lot of sense and also makes little to no sense at the same time. This player, in the end, is he better than what we have? I would say yes, he probably is he's better than what we, what we have. In the end, I'm surprised this is something that's come up already because Dennis Schroeder is in the playoffs. Dennis Schroeder is in the playing tournament. Their game's actually going to be played today after, after this recording. So 
I don't think he's focused on anything except for trying to win a championship. So the fact of the matter is that we are bringing up that we're interested in Dennis Schroeder, I don't think is the best time, and I also don't believe it's true at this point in time. However, he's played with Billy Donovan before, I believe. He's played very, very well under Billy Donovan. He has one of his better seasons under Billy Donovan. He's not the type of guard that I think we necessarily need. I think we already have a high volume level guard in Kobe White, someone that can fill the stat sheet, someone that can score in bunches, someone that is a little bit craftier. I don't necessarily think we need Dennis Schroeder on this team. But again, he would be a welcome addition. He's worked with Billy Donovan before. There's past experience there. And in the end, he is a quality player. So why not? If we really are interested in Dennis Schroeder, I would take him as a Chicago Bull. In the end, I don't think he should be starting for our team. But there's definitely situations there where he could be a welcome addition to the bench and maybe potentially start in some occasional games here and there. I like Dennis Schroeder. I think he's a good player. I don't think he's the right answer in terms of the main guard. I think if we're going to get him, we still need to get another defensive and playmaking style guard. And we'll see what happens on, at, on that end. But again... Dennis Schroeder is in the playoff picture right now. Dennis Schroeder and the Lakers are focusing on a championship. So I don't think this rumor is true by any stretch of the means. I don't think any team would actually express their interest in the player that's already in the playoffs at this point in time. I don't think that's the right thing to do. So we shall wait and see if that has any merit or if that's just once again a rumor that turns out not to be true. Now, speaking of rumors, we have some contract rumors, ladies and gentlemen, about one of our all-star players, Zach Levine. Zach Levine, all-star Zach Levine, has been playing out of his mind this season, had his best season in the NBA. He missed a few games due to some um, safety protocols, health and safety protocols. And in the end, the Chicago Bulls just missed out on the playing tournament. And I think we could have had a much better chance if he was playing. However, Zach Levine, there are rumors, according to Zach Levine, that he will not seek a max contract deal for the Chicago Bulls. And in fact, he will be willing to take a pay cut to ensure that we have some suitable players, additional players, come into this team and end up making us a much better team. Now, again, these are rumors. At the end of the day, this is a rumor. This is not something that should be taken 100% as fact or 100% as not true. In the end, we don't know what Zach Levine wants in free agency. We don't know what Zach Levine wants in terms of his contract. But that is obviously some good news if that is true. Again, if Zach Levine wants a, doesn't want a max and is willing to take a pay cut, then obviously he's seeing himself as a team valuable player. He's a team friendly player, as is Nikola Vucevic, who um, for the Orlando Magic signed a non-max non deal. So he could end up having a better team around him. So again, that situation, if it's true, it's a very good situation to be in if you're a Chicago Bulls fan. And also if you're a player looking to join the Chicago Bulls, having a player that is willing to take a pay cut is going to be very interesting to see what kind of team we can create. But ultimately, Zach Levine is a young man and Zach Levine has taken pay cuts his entire career pretty much. The contract he's on is extremely undervalued compared to what he's producing. So the fact of the matter is, if he wants a max contract, I, I can't blame Zach Levine for wanting a max contract. I truly can't. In the end, I don't think it reflects badly on him if he goes for a max contract for the Chicago Bulls. And I definitely think the Chicago Bulls will give him a max contract if that's what it takes to keep him here. But put it this way. He's a young man. He wants to get paid. I don't have a problem with this, to be honest. Again, if, if it's a situation where we have to get rid of all of our players for Zach Levine, that becomes a little bit, bit of an issue. But in the end, Zach Levine is our best player. Our best player deserves to have a chance to get a max contract or close to a max contract. Now, if he wants to sacrifice that, that's great. He'll get a lot more fans behind him. He'll get a lot more support on him. And in the end, that will be good for him and good for the Chicago Bulls. But if he goes for a max contract, I simply cannot blame blame someone that is that good, that talented, and producing his best basketball, wanting a max contract. So in the end, do I believe this? I actually don't believe this. I think the Chicago Bulls will give Zach Levine a max contract, and I think that Zach Levine will take a max contract. And that doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to have a bad team for years to come. In fact, that could potentially mean that if we're giving the financial respect to a key player, other players might see that and actually want to come to the Chicago Bulls because they know that they'll get the respect and the pay that they deserve. And many teams don't want to go above the luxury tax. Many teams don't want to spend money. We see that over the course of 
every team, including us as well. We're definitely one of those teams. But again, if things have changed, maybe there's going to be a little bit more respect around the Chicago Bulls in the league. And many teams, might, many players might actually see Chicago Bulls as a destination. So again, we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, whatever happens, happens. Again, I'll be happy if Zach Levine gets a max contract, and I'll be happy if he sacrifices his max contract. In the end, as long as Zach Levine stays here, in my opinion, that's all that really matters to me. And last but not least, we've got someone that will be extending their player option for the Chicago Bulls. He is making around $10.2 million next year, and he will be playing for the Chicago Bulls, at least for the foreseeable future. And his name is Al Farouk Aminu. Now, Al Farouk Aminu, many people might have not even seen him play for the Chicago Bulls, because he has barely played. But... He has played for the Chicago Bulls. He hasn't done very well as a Chicago Bull. But in the end, he was part of the trade for Nikola Vucevic. And again, you have to make sacrifices for a player like Nikola Vucevic, as we might see with the draft. And Alfred Gaminu is definitely part of that as well. And he will be accepting his player option or is expected to accept his player option. And he'll be playing as a Chicago Bull next season. This is coming from Woj, I believe. So again... When Woj talks, people tend to listen, and it tends to become fact more often than not. So if Woj is saying something like this, then I guess it's best that you believe something like that. So what do I think about Alfa Rukaminu? Alfa is someone, when I first discussed Alfa with the Nikola Vucevic trade, he is someone that I believed could do very good things on the Chicago Bulls. Again, he's a two-way type of player. Offensively, I hate his jump shot, but he is someone that can attack the paint, and he's someone that could defend the ball well. We haven't seen that enough out of, out of Alfa Rukaminu, and it's because of his playtime, also people in his position. So... For me, this is definitely a business move for Alfa Rukaminu. This is I don't think he's going to expect a whole lot of game time. And if he does have game time, great. He's going to show he's able, he's worth the money that we're going to be giving him. But it, it, this is definitely a move, in my opinion, where it's, it's a business move. He's going for the money, and he's going to make his money. And if he gets the game time or not next season, he will end up going to a team that will give him game time. I'm not really sure about that situation. But Alfred Camino has not played well for the Chicago Bulls. I think that's safe to say. When he has played, it's been a really up and down experience. But he hasn't played too much. So... We're going to have to wait and see what type of player we're going to be experiencing next season. Hopefully, with um, a full a full preseason, a full training camp. Obviously, the Summer League, but Alfred Camino won't be a part of that. But again, some of our other players will be. We can see the true best and the preseason. We can see the true best out of Alfred Camino on this team. Because I do think he's a good role player that we have on our hands here. But he needs to be utilized and he also needs to show that he wants to be here. And that's going to be the most important thing for me. And we're going to have to wait and see how that goes. But ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of this video. The Chicago Bulls news video. If I've missed anything, please let me know in the comments below. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe if you're new. It's going to take time to adjust. Talking about the Chicago Bulls news once again. Rumors, drafts trades all of these things but hopefully this is a good step in the right direction for me and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless have a wonderful and safe day i believe the next video i will have out will be a chicago bulls rating video uh, i did this last season where i gave uh, every player on this team a number out of 10 and how well they performed this season obviously based on their skill based on their minutes and everything of those sorts and I think that that's going to be a very interesting thing as well for this team. So have a wonderful and safe day, Chicago Bulls fans. I will see you in another Chicago Bulls video. Take care and peace.